watching and welcome to another Fibonacci extravaganza. So a commenter on my channel commented something very interesting because we know that there are the Fibonacci numbers which count the number of bunnies which are defined as follows. So Fn plus 2, it's Fn plus 1 plus Fn with F0 equals 0 and F1 equals 1. And the question is, what happens for negative n? In particular, if n is given, what is f of negative n? Would it produce negative bunnies? Well, it turns out there's a very interesting relationship between f of negative n and fn. So, and for this, let's just write down a couple of terms of the Fibonacci sequence. So suppose we start with f0, which is 0, and then f1, which is 1, f2, which is the sum of the two, which is 1, f3, which is the sum of those two, which is 2, and then f4, so three, 1 plus 2 is 3, f5, and 2 plus 3 is 5, etc., etc. Now the question is, what is f of negative 1? Well, we we'll still have this formula. So in particular, uh, what is f of negative 1? We know that if you sum f of negative 1 with f of 0, you get f of 1. Again, it's still true that if you sum up the present and one generation later, you get two generations later. So in particular, what we get? f of negative 1 plus 0 equals 1. So f of negative 1, it's 1. So interestingly, you might think you get a negative answer, but no, it turns out the number of bunnies a generation before is positive. So somehow, one bunny later becomes zero bunnies, and then we get another bunny later. All right, and the question is, what is f of negative 2? Well, f of negative 2 plus f of negative 1, that's f naught, and so we get f of negative 2 minus 1 equals 0, sorry, f of negative 2 plus 1 equals 0, which tells us f of negative 2, it's minus 1. So indeed, here we get a negative bunny. All right, so what do we get? We get, so, uh, all right, so what do we get? We get f of negative 3 plus f of negative 2, that's f of negative 1, so, f of negative 3, uh, negative 1, equals 1. So, f of negative 3, it's 2 here. And maybe you start seeing the pattern, but just in case, let's do one more. So, f of negative 4 plus f of negative 3, that is f of negative 2. So, f of negative 4 plus 2 is minus 1, so f of negative 4, that's minus 3. All right, and now let's look at the pattern. So suppose you start with f naught. If you go forward, you get 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. If you go backwards, you get 1, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 5. So it seems if you go backwards, you get the same Fibonacci sequence, but alternating. This is almost like 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, but you put minuses. So here's our conjecture. I'm claiming that if you have negative n, f of negative n, it's minus 1, let's say to the n minus 1 of fn. And we need minus 1 to the n minus 1 because, for example, for n equals minus 1, you need a positive power. So at 1 here, and then for n, let's say, minus 2, you need a negative power. So we have that, and then let's just prove this by induction, if you want. So let's do induction on n. N 
equation. So let's do this, let's say for n equals zero. Well, then what do we have? So f of negative zero, by definition, that's f of zero. And that's, if you want, minus one to the zero minus one. Ah, I guess. So f of zero is zero, and that's also minus one to the zero minus one times zero. So here we're okay, and just for the heck of it, maybe we'll need it, I don't know. But for n equals one, so I found f of minus one, that's one, but also that is minus one to the one minus one of f of one, because this is one, and we calculated f of one to be one. So it's also true for the case n equals one. And now let's do the induction hypothesis. So suppose, uh, and it's kind of interesting. So we're, well, it seems we're doing backwards induction, but we're doing forward induction because we're doing it for n. So suppose, um, so I think we need strong induction because we'll go like two steps backwards. So suppose if you want, uh, um, let's say this P, PK is true for all K uh, from zero up to N and show from PN plus one is true. That is, let's show that f of minus n plus 1 equals minus 1 to the n plus 1 minus 1 f n plus 1. So show this is true and if you want you can simplify this to minus 1 to the n f n plus 1. Okay. So suppose everything is true up to n and let's show that the next step is true okay but what do we know so we know that f minus n plus one that's f of minus n minus one and by definition of the fibonacci sequence if you sum up again the present and one generation later you get two generations later so f minus n plus one so Again, if you sum up f minus n and then one generation before, so minus n minus 1, you get f of minus n plus 1. So in particular, f of minus n minus 1 equals minus f of minus n minus, uh, if you want, I guess plus f of minus n minus 1. But you see this n and n minus 1, those are less than or equal to n. So in particular, we are allowed to use in the induction hypothesis here. So because pn and pn minus 1 are true, that's why we needed strong induction. We know that the result holds for f of minus n and f of minus n minus 1. So this then becomes by assumption, so we still have this minus here, and we get a minus 1 to the n minus 1, f of n, and plus, so minus 1 to the n minus 1, minus 1, f right. of. Now to simplify this, so we get minus 1 to the n minus 1 with an extra factor of minus, so minus 1 to the n minus 1 plus 1, so minus 1 to the n, fn, plus minus 1 to the n minus 2. But you see this is an even power, so you're just left with minus 1 to the n. So minus 1 to the n, fn minus 1. And the nice thing is this minus 1 to the n, it factors out. And remember, it's precisely what we want because we want at the end this minus 1 to the n. So minus 1 to the n. Fn plus Fn minus 1. And then we're basically done because 
by the definition of the Fibonacci sequence, if you add up the present with the past, you get the future. So, we're done, because then what do we get? This is f of minus n plus 1 equals minus 1 to the, uh, I guess, n plus 1 minus 1 of fn plus 1. And therefore, pn plus 1 is true, and at the end we get pn is true for all n. So this is a very interesting relationship, I think, for the Fibonacci sequence, that if you go backwards, you get this alternating sum, or alternating sequence, if you want. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.